Hey guys, this is Pratik from Mr. Phone and this month has been all about smartphones and we've seen some pretty big releases from manufacturers like Xiaomi, OnePlus and even Apple. But amidst all the chaos in the smartphone industry, Honor quietly launched a wearable that is shaping up to be one of the best ones that I've used this year. Yes, I am talking about the Honor Watch ES and in this video, I'll walk you through my initial experience of using this. Let's go. But guys, before we get on with the video, make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any quality tech content that we put out. Now that you've done that, let's get on with my first impressions of the Honor Watch ES. So let's kick things off by talking about the design of the Honor Watch ES and I'll tell you that this is one of the reasons why I like wearing this wearable so much. Now looking at the design shots, I'm sure you can probably tell that the Watch ES's shape is a bit quirky and the wearable's boxy rectangular design is not something I've personally seen a lot of. In fact, the last I saw a watch shape like this was the Gear Fit 2 by Samsung. So suffice it to say, the design of the Watch ES definitely comes as a breath of fresh air. And it's not just the form factor by the way. The wearable is really durable and comfortable to wear too. For one, it's extremely sleek and weighs next to nothing at 21 grams. Now, that weight is without the straps, but even with these straps, I'm guessing that the wearable would weigh what? 33-35 grams and it's mind-boggling considering how much tech is inside this tiny little thing. Also, the Watch ES comes with just one physical button and I really like how it sits flush to the chassis so it didn't bite my wrist when I was doing a push-up and so on. Oh, and speaking of workouts, this is water resistant up to 5 ATM so you shouldn't have any problems sweating it out wearing the Honor Watch ES in the gym. Now moving on though, the Watch ES also offers quick pin releases for its straps so you can customize it quite easily using a third party alternative. Now the bundle straps that you do get with the watch are quite comfortable though thanks to their rubberized finish so you might just want to stick with these. Regardless, the overall design of the Honor Watch ES is excellent so now let me tell you more about its unique rectangular display. So the Honor Watch ES comes with a 1.64 inch AMOLED display which is a treat to the eyes. The display comes with a resolution of 456 by 280 pixels which I don't need to tell you is plenty sharp for a screen of this size. And because it's AMOLED, you'll also enjoy deep dark blacks on the screen and the colors pop too. Now this is primarily why Honor has bundled some really colorful watch faces with the wearable and they complement the screen really well. Also there's no shortage of watch faces here by the way so you can actually download a ton more from the companion Huawei Health app too. Now one more thing you should note here is that since this is an AMOLED screen, the Watch ES also comes with support for an always on display and it looks pretty good. You get a couple of alternatives for what you want uh, to use as an always on display but I should remind you that you will get a disclaimer that this always on display tech is going to eat into a big chunk of your battery life. Thankfully the watch does come with support for quick charging and it can charge up to 70% in just 30 minutes using pretty much any charger that you have lying around so that's great. Now moving on, you'll also get lift to wake the display functionality here so you can always check the time of your notifications without pressing the physical button. Now as for outdoor visibility and ruggedness, you will be glad to know that the Watch ES comes with a 450 nits of peak brightness and from my initial stint with the wearable, I didn't face any problems using it outdoors. Now there is Corning's Gorilla Glass present on the Watch 2 which has been layered on top of its display but the brand didn't specify which version so I'll have to update you on that later. Now this is a touchscreen based watch so you'll have to use gesture based navigation to move around the UI but honestly the controls are fairly easy to grasp and the good thing is that the touch responsiveness of this display is really good too. And since this is a smartwatch, you do get support for smart features like push notifications here and I like how every app gets its own customized icon. Unfortunately, you can't reply to notifications from the watch's interface and while you can take calls too, you'll have to speak into your phone or your earphones built-in microphone as there's no microphone on the watch ES itself. Now coming to fitness tracking, the watch ES can actually track a multitude of different sports activities including outdoor cycling, running, swimming, the works. Now I haven't had the chance to test the wearable across all these different activities but for what it's worth, 
step tracking has been really accurate on the wearable. Now during my testing, the watch didn't account for ghost steps and would only add 3 to 6 steps to the total tally which is well within the margin of error I'd expect from a wearable in 2020. Now of course, you also get support for heart rate monitoring here which once again was on par with the results I got from competing devices like the Mi Watch Revolve. Now quite interestingly, the watch ES can also track oxygen saturation in your blood as it comes with SPO2 monitor, the readings for which were also on par with devices like the Realme watch so no complaints here either. As always, all your fitness stats will be presented to you front and center on the Huawei Health app which is also where you can customize various other aspects about your watch ES. Now, by the way, you will need to enable Huawei's True Sleep from within the app as it comes disabled by default but do enable it as I feel that their algorithm offers the best tracking metrics. I tested this on the Honor Magic Watch as well as the Huawei Watch GT2e and I was blown away by how precise the readings were. So yeah, if you are going to buy the Honor Watch ES, make sure to make the most of Huawei's True Sleep feature. Well, that sums up my experience with the Honor Watch ES so far. Now, this is shaping up to be a really promising wearable and I really like what Honor has done, especially with the design here. Now, they've also launched another watch, uh, the GS Pro, which by the looks of it, uh, seems to be more feature-rich as well as a pair of TWS earphones called Honor Choice. Now, videos on those should be up shortly, but for the time being, do let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you did, do give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'll see you very soon in another video. Until then, this is Prateek from Mr. Phone, signing off.